All right, on today's Fire Minute, we're going to talk to Dave Ross, who's new to Station 12, and then his first series of holes that he cut. We'll review a little bit. There's some good talking points. Specifically, I want to mention um, cut sequence and how you do that. Uh, it's It can be dynamic. It can be based off anatomy, smoke direction, everything. I think the biggest takeaway with that is don't get too set on having to do it one way. Also, another good talking point in this is in the morning shift change, making sure that you're being turned over equipment that's going to be functional. And even better, if you notice that something's not acting quite right on your apparatus, get that thing out of service and get it replaced as soon as possible. So what happened with you and your turnover? Well, so in the back seat, we had been discussing the two saws on truck 12. There had been talk that one of them was not as reliable as the other. Uh, in clean air in front of the station, both saws were, were running well. The, the saw that had been reported as uh, misbehaving wasn't present, then we would have saved time in this instance. What ended up happening with that first saw? I wasn't actually up with you. The instant uh, I tried to start cutting, we were in pretty thick smoke all around that the saw was immediately dying. I started up again, uh, tried to throttle it up, and it was just uh, just shutting off. So you, you give it to Carl, Carl brings it over, to the, and I'm standing at the ladder and he hands it down to me. And then I give him the one that it started. So this is a good heads up because we are going to say that because that first one stalled out, we counted it out as about 40 second, 45 second delay between getting another saw back up there and starting. But if the engineer hadn't brought the second saw straight to the base of the ladder, that would have further delayed longer. it. Yeah, because yeah, we would longer. have had to go and get the second saw. So bring that second saw with you. Even better, have it running and ready to go at the base of the ladder. At that time, you can hear the radio traffic <laughs> where fire attack is Mark on uh, 12 asking to open up the roof because it's getting hot in there. What ended up happening was one of the guys got burned. He burned his ears and had to um, take the rest of the shift, go to the hospital. He then went on light duty until his ears healed. And then Mark Carone took a beating on, um, you can see his helmet here. And, you know, that was a fairly clean looking helmet prior to this fire. Even that 45 second delay ma makes a difference. Um, and well, it's, it's a huge difference because we were up there, and we, if the saw had been functioning properly, we would have been cutting the hole uh, as as the interior crew was calling for that that hole to open up. And right. The timing would have been perfect. Yeah, and, and on that note, that's a you know making a, a better coordinated effort between fire attack and vertical ventilation, which normally what happens is with us is um, we're up there, we ask them if they're ready for us to open up the hole and then we open up the hole once they're ready for it. Well, in this case, they were ready for it really fast because the wind blowing through there was just acting like a blowtorch on them going in on the alpha side, and we had an issue with the saw. You, you can see the, the second saw was uh, running much better. First hole was cut without, without any trouble, cut very easily. Uh, but there is obviously lots of smoke that we were in, and uh, once the saw went back to idle, chain break on, uh, I don't know, maybe 10 or 15 seconds later, it did die out in the smoke. And so before I cut a second hole, I had to uh, put it on half choke back in the starting position and fire it back up. And it luckily fired up without trouble. So how does that work when you're like already on your second saw because the first one failed and now the second one stalls out? Yeah, on yeah, starting to think about the axe on my hip. <laughs> okay, right. The other thing I wanted to bring up was that when you're continuing with smoke and a little bit more where it's being driven by wind. Cut order can come into play if it's going to prevent like making a your first cut create a bunch of smoke for your second or third cut where it could potentially stall out. In this case, you can see so much smoke coming from far further down. The cut order didn't really matter so much, so that's not crossing your mind. Coming across the route, the uh, peaked portion of, of the roof or the, or the pitched portion and then the ridge pole that all felt very sturdy but then as we were coming down towards the alpha delta side of the uh, building uh, there was a, a flat extension of roof 
behind us and uh, Carl was sounding, he, he just tapped his roof hook and it punched right through and, and a little fireball was coming out of that. So um, the main thing I was thinking of, honestly, not so much cut odor, but I was uh, looking at my foot placement and making sure I was staying on the good roof and not on the bad flat roof that we we're pretty close to. So yeah, cut order uh, could have been more deliberate. So the other thing we should highlight that I'm sure that you didn't even realize until you're watching this video, which is why these helmet cams are great, is just how deep you go on your plunge cut. Yeah, no kidding. Well, the helmet camera is uh, great because uh, in my memory it was perfect. Um, and certainly, certainly you can see that uh, I was going pretty low uh, further in than I, than I certainly needed to accomplish the task. Uh, Luckily, uh, yeah, I was, I'm happy to report that uh, all rafters were intact upon inspection <laughs> later. <laughs> all rafters are uh, intact. And, and nobody got their helmet bit. <laughs> nobody got their, yeah. You don't need to go, I, I will not go as deep next time. Um, but yeah, it's good to see the video because in my mind, I just had the uh, first couple inches of the saw tip in there and certainly I was further in at, at times. Right. It's good to see that. Yeah.